Welcome back to the Between Burrow. Um, we're back in Honey Song uh, for a one shot. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's been a little while since we last visited our rabbits. It is summertime in the valley, or was it a valley? The field, I suppose, that you guys are in. I believe um, the correct term is like a pasture. Yeah, maybe. I thought it was um, burrow. Well, you're we in, a burrow, in a burrow, but, but the like, burrow is yeah. in the field, like in the. I, I think it. we said meadow. I oh, think we said meadow. you're in a, a yes. California valley. <laughs> you're in a meadow in the California valley. Um, oh, I didn't know we were in California. You didn't specify the state last time. Did I not? I suppose nope. that's all right. I'm looking at my notes. I guess I more just like themed it off of California. All right. This so, generic I mean, location. I mean, know about state lines. Yeah. <laughs> Generic sure. uh, farm area, but I suppose, you know, just the easiest way to note was California. I mean, yeah. All right. And I will say we are playing the same characters minus the old lady rabbit. Yes. <laughs> they are the same ones. So. She's probably not dead. She's probably just too old to leave the burrow. I mean, yeah, yeah she, she's planning on not going anywhere considering... The last game where she lost her whole ass arm. Yeah. Sometimes you lose your whole ass arm. Did Dewdrop lose a leg or did he get a cut on the leg? I do not remember. He what didn't lose leg? a leg. He got like a really okay. bad scratch, like a full paw okay. scratch on his hind leg. You probably have a pretty badass scar on your ass. Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry, Dewdrop is literally just collecting all these scars and I love him. <laughs> Yeah. The only reason um Nutmeg lost an arm was because she, she stuck it down. into the fox. <laughs> that was so badass. That yeah. was badass though. She was an old lady that poisoned a fox. We killed a fox. There no, was an old lady I don't think that we poisoned a him. fox. Yeah, no, we poisoned him. He we died. poisoned him, but we never established that he died. No, we did say he died. He would have died that. eventually. We did say he died because he was poisoned horribly. Thing. That ki that kills people, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rowan. Okay, what do you like? Got any plan for? I have no clue. <laughs> so here's the thing: the way the the Warren kind of works is it's not story based like a lot of the other ones. So um, I suppose we can get into the questions um for how we start out the. Yeah. The session. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we're in a different good. season now, so things are going to be different. Yeah, yeah, let me see. What's a good question? Um, what is the hardest thing for rabbits in the Warren to obtain? In hmm. the summer, I think water, because it's hot. We're, we're near uh, a stream. No, I like that. I like that answer. Yeah, but like we're, even streams, we're near a stream. even streams dry up. It's water. It's yeah, in the summer. I, it's rather dry, that's and the true. stream has been um, unnaturally maybe a little lower than usual. Yeah, I'll take. Yeah, that makes yeah, more sense. That makes sense. And sure. you know, maybe it's um, maybe it's uh, maybe it's surprisingly lower than normal oh, summer. Oh, there's a like, drought. This is. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a yeah, drought. Yeah, like. It could be a drought. You're not entirely sure, but this it's definitely lower than a normal summer. Oh, maybe maybe uh, it's a maybe it's a stream that is it. It doesn't come from a spring. It comes from snow runoff. Oh, I don't know. Have, have any of the rabbits gone and explored where the stream starts? I no. feel like that is way too far away for them. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably way too far. <laughs> yeah, clover so, sure is. Like, none of you know what's upstream. Um, you just know yeah. that the stream is lower for now. Um, let's see. We can go across and see the farm. Oh my gosh, we can. Yeah. Good. Um. Oof. This water thing has opened so many options for what we can do this episode. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What's another thing? Um. Well, okay. So I asked this in the first one as well, but um. I just want to see if maybe anyone has new ideas for them. What stories have been collected as rabbits travel through the Between Burrow to the next one? Because remember, the Between Burrow is named that because it's where rabbits who travel from your uh, ancestors, or not, maybe not ancestors, but like the the past few generations before the Between Burrow was founded, has Warren 
um, off somewhere, and some rabbits will come from there to yours to move on to the next one. Ooh. As populations change and people need a shift. We had such good stories and lore last time, I'm almost afraid got, to follow it up. I got something, I got something. Oh yeah? It's been maybe like three or four months since the last one. Yeah. Go ahead. So, rabbits that have come to the Between Borough have spoken about these giant creatures that they can't they can't stop. They can't communicate with them. They are just these giant bulking creatures mm. larger than life that freeze rabbits in their tracks if they get caught in the caught in the way and they are known for eating the rabbits and leaving them and leaving the few the few droppings or so to speak oh. behind them as they continue as they continue onwards not even stopping to care oh about boy the rab the rabbits they demolish is that a car <laughs> yes <laughs> I, I i got another one that has to do with humans as well yeah <laughs> and it's also Go spooky ahead. You guys are um, cl relatively close to farms and like a highway, yeah, maybe yeah, no yeah. large that's, cities. That's but... why I thought of is because like yeah. we're by a farm. We're probably by some kind of road. You're probably that's by a true. country road with cars going down like that road at like 50 miles an hour when it's supposed to be a 30 mile per hour road just because it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So the idea that I had was stories of... Um, hearing sounds in the forest, another sounds in the forest one, but this time the sound, it sounds like thunder, but there's no storms anywhere to be seen. And it's like short thunder, just off in the distance and it echoes throughout the forest. And don't fireworks? know what it is, but it's spooky. And no, it's not fireworks. Oh. Is it logging? Okay. It's hunting season. <laughs> oh no! Uh I am here to put an end to this cryptid energy, <laughs> because this is ridiculous. The thing that the story that is also circulating around in the borough thinks is that there is... <laughs> I'm sorry for that energy, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> Um, I just we can't. It can't all be spooky monster stories. People have other types. Or of can stories. it? Mm, you're right. I changed my mind. No. <laughs> um, do you have a story for us, Riley? <laughs> yes, I do. There is apparently another borough has been set up nearby, um, and it is doing exceptionally well. And the rabbits there have extended an invitation to the in-between borough and basically said that we should dissolve our borough and go over and join that one. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Any rumors of what the name of this borough is called? Um, it's closer... It it's closer... To the uh, between borough, so the in between borough was between these two uh, boroughs before, and it's closer to one of them than the other. So it's not also right smack dab in the middle, but I think it's also kind of a a waypoint. I'm going to call this the. I already invented rabbit heaven, so I can't call it the perfect <laughs> borough. I mean, we can have everyone help with names if you want. Um, doesn't have to be just Riley. We can yes and this. This would be the... How about, like, Thistle Hill or something? Oh. Name it after location that it is. Oh. Yeah, that's in in interesting. I'm, like, trying to think about, like, what rabbit... Like, what a rabbit empire would call their burrow? <laughs> like, what's I rabbit? mean, if it's new, I wouldn't say it's, like, enormous. I mean, the no, hill, honestly, no, sounds like an empire but like, name. W what, would ro uh, what would rabbit Rome call itself? <laughs> uh, 
Um, cherry orchard. Oh. Maybe it's next to a cherry orchard. Oh, I know what it is. They call it the final burrow because no one else is ever going to need a burrow ever again because they're all going to move in with them. <laughs> They've got a really high opinion of themselves. Yes. They have decided okay. they figured it out and their burrow is is the end all solution. I do to like the idea of being under a cherry. Uh, yes. Cherry orchard because that would give them lots of food, lots of resources. I like that. Shelter. All right. Um, I'm going to add on to that. There is actually a visitor in your burrow. Um, her name is Barley, and she is from um, the the last burrow. I need to give that other burrow a name. I'm going to call the last one Thistle Hill. Y'all came yeah. from Thistle Hill. Um, <laughs> she's from Thistle Hill, and she's heard of the final burrow, and she's on her way there. And she stopped in at your place for a little while. Um, but she's kind of been talking around to the other rabbits and being like, kind of singing the praises of the final burrow. <gasps> she's trying to convert us! <laughs> <laughs> she's bought in. All right. Um, so we've got a couple settings there, I suppose. Um, other than that, the same things as last time. Um, you learned from. Uh, what was her name? Uh, Nettle. You learned from Nettle that, uh, possibly the bees are disappearing. Um, and... I don't know what we can do about that particularly. I doubt anyone's really looked into it. Um, bees can but fly! With the drought and, um, other things, there doesn't seem to be as much food around in the summer as well. Oh, oh no. Uh, so, Yeah. So we can move on to the situational questions and get started. Um, we know what season it is. It's summer. What are you doing right now? Napping. <laughs> Napping. It is yeah. unclear if Clover is alive or dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dewdrop, I honestly think uh, Dewdrop is trying to show off the scar on his butt. <laughs> To who? Like it's cool? Lady rabbits! Yes, he lady thinks rabbits. it's cool? <laughs> he survived the fox! Yes! <laughs> He's trying to impress the lady rabbits! What the hell? I don't... What establishment do you okay, think Okay, but like? like... If I was trying to impress a woman, I wouldn't go, Hey, my... But is real tore up. It's real bad. You've never heard of showing off scars? They ate, they ate my ass. I don't know, Maria. That would get me. I would. It's showing off the scars. Is hey, you want to know what I survived? You want to know how fox? I got these scars? A <laughs> fox ate my ass. Because I'm stupid and I went with it to a second location. <laughs> Okay, but you can phrase it as, hey, want to know about the time I survived getting attacked by a fox? Like, that, <laughs> that's some cool shit in rabbit, right. in rabbit lore. So, are you all away or at the burrow right now? I think they're at the burrow. Because Bramble okay. is yeah, also at the burrow. Bramble, I think, right now is still kind of hanging out with Nutmeg, but I'm not going to be playing Nutmeg anymore because she's retired. <laughs> but yeah, she's, she's she still old. takes care of, like, the newborns, and I think Bramble is, like, telling cool stories about what happened to the babies. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I suppose Bramble is, like, at that teen stage where you're, like, just old enough that you're, like, not an adult yet, but you're still, like, having to watch the kids, like... Yeah. It's like you used to be one of the kids, and now you're the one having to watch them because you're not old enough to go out with adults as much. Yeah. <laughs> not quite <laughs> yet. Um, but yeah, I suppose since we aren't in the middle of any action right now, uh, what are you going to do? Um, Dewdrop is not the bright one in this situation, so someone else suggest them, <laughs> please. You don't have to, like, approach this from a problem-solve do the story no. just like no yeah i'm trying to think of like what we would do and my mind went try to investigate yeah i think bramble's checking out the stream yeah maybe oh you're God. thirsty um you know you don't really have a 
good way to bring water back into the borough. So if at any moment you need a drink, you go down to the stream. Yeah. Um, you're all probably friends. Would you all go together? Would you make a day out of it? I think we'd probably just meet each other there. Or would just happen to one meet of each you other. go, and then we'd split yeah. the party and deal with that. <laughs> I think that we would all just end up there. Cause yeah. Like- you both arrive at the dried up creek, and you wait for a little bit for Clover, and then the it, like in the distance, one of the rocks moves to reveal <laughs> Clover's been here the whole time, and was just like conked out. Actually, did did I introduce? Thicket last time. Thicket is like Think rabbit so? mayor, yeah. Yeah. We talked okay. a little bit about Thicket, but we didn't spend a lot of time with them or get like a lot of dialogue, I think. Alright. Yeah, let's have that scene. Yeah, I'd like to say that you guys are actually all headed to the stream because Thicket has called a sort of meeting. Um and this is an open meeting for any rabbit that wants to come. Um, or any rabbit that feels safe enough to go out into the open at the moment. Um, but, uh, don't remember if I gave them pronouns. <laughs> Was it a girl? I don't know, do rabbits need pronouns? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just helps with the voice, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, are we gonna talk about gender politics and then <laughs> rabbits? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Now is the time. <laughs> now is the time. <laughs> yeah, so Thicket's there, um, and anyone who wants to join, and Thicket's going to have a meeting about the stream. So. Yeah, I think Bramble goes. Yeah. Yeah, if Thicket asked Clover to, Clover would go. Dewdrop would go because it is the, like, thing to do. <laughs> I like to assume Clover's there because Clover went down to get water and then just got too tired to go back yeah, up. There, so. there was no water and Clover thought, well, surely there will be water eventually. And has just been sitting there waiting. <laughs> it's like, water flows downhill. Maybe it's just taking a bit to get here. Plot twist, the reason there's no water is because Clover fell asleep in the stream and is blocking the flow. It's blocking it, yeah. <laughs> Clover's created a dam. The entire up- uphill valley is flooded. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, um, yeah, Thicket's there. Um, a nice uh, kind of white and gray patchy coat rabbit. Um, a little bit older now. And just they they kind of see you all, all there. And they, they wait a little bit to make sure anyone else isn't coming from from the burrow, and then they, they clear their throat, and they're like, well, I, I've i called y'all here today to discuss the matter of the stream. Now, I know it doesn't look too concerning right now. There's still a little bit of water, and it's, it's looking all right, but thinking ahead here, the days are going to get hotter, and I don't think this stream is going to be getting any deeper. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, hold on. I remembered I made Dewdrop kind of have a cool voice. I hate this. He's got like the edgy, uh, tries to be edgy voice. Yeah, no, exactly. So I'm trying. I'm just trying not to laugh. Um, Dewdrop goes, I think we should investigate why it's so low. I'll go. I'll help. I think that is a a really good idea. Um, we're gonna need to get a team together, uh, of any brave rabbits or hares that are feeling confident enough to go out and, uh, investigate why the water's so low. I'll do it. I'll volunteer. I, I bested a fox and I bested an owl and I think I can do it. Thank you, Bramble. (laughs) He did not do those things. <laughs> That's exactly what I think it was like. Thank you. <laughs> I don't remember it happening like 
I feel like Bramble <laughs> hops over to um hops over to Clover and goes, Clover, buddy, how about we go at it? You, me, and Bramble, like old times. It's so hot. He rolls over. <laughs> no. Well, Clover, we all remember things differently. We all have our own stories that we enjoy. We love sharing them. But, so we've got a, a Bramble, a Clover. Uh, anyone else? Clover slowly crawls into the stream and just sits <laughs> on the trickle. <laughs> Which is actually no. kind of funny, because rabbits aren't supposed to get in water. <clears throat> It's such it's such a little trickle. Like he can know, sit yeah. on top of it and block it. <laughs> I'm sure if it feels hot enough, that probably feels nice. <laughs> but the family of my stone stream, they need that water. You're killing them, Clover. It's so hot. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm it's almost die, worse please. because of the heat that Clover's yeah. talking mm -hmm. even slower. <laughs> he's he's so heavy and he has so much fur. And so and much he's, fat. He's just, yeah, it's not working out for him. Thicket <laughs> turns to you two and is like three. All right, three. Sorry, three. Um. So, uh, I don't I don't really mind if the you know, if this stream has run its course, uh, both figuratively and li literally, and this is the end of it, uh, it would be nice if maybe you could help us find some alternative, uh, source of water. Um, you know, I, whatever's up with the stream, yeah. You always gotta keep looking for the future, sometimes things are just things. Uh, but... Maybe... One of the other burrows has water. I'm we sure they do. Yeah. Ask them <laughs> to share. <laughs> I, I think I think we should go upstream. Uh, may, maybe maybe there's something blocking the water, like 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 Clover is. That is an idea, Bramble. Now, Clover, it is all nice and good saying that we can ask for other Warrens to share, but we can't be making the trip to each Warren every time someone needs a drink. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> and Dujab goes, but I say we go right now. Bramble bolts towards the stream. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave it. <laughs> yeah, we're going right now. Bramble's going. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Thicket's gonna wait. <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs> Watch as Clover slowly plods away. Like yeah, I know. And Dujab's gonna be moving. Kind of in between and like occasionally stopping for Clover <laughs> to catch up. Bramble's He's doing so like slow. a back and forth run. He's so unbearably slow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I love it. Clover's breeding pregnant pauses like rabbits do. <laughs> Oof. Wow. You right. Four hours later, <laughs> we make it to the stream. <laughs> Well, you're kind of, I mean, you're already in, like, we the stream the bed. Stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it takes them I four hours say, like, to take those few steps to the edge of the stream. Well, so, yeah, you guys gonna head up, up the stream? Yes. All right. Well, it kind of runs through the meadow a bit. Um, It splits off, connects back together in a way that uh, just a wild stream will. Um, but overall, it goes, it starts to flow, and it goes all the way up to... Um, it's going to continue up to the highway. Oh no. Where it actually dun, dun, passes dun. underneath the highway. I feel like when we get there, Dewdrop gives a very over-theatric gasp. 
Someone do, quote me. Do, do you think we'll see any big shiny monsters? Shiny? Yeah, they're cars. Yeah, Riley, they're cars. They're shiny. I I'm think that character. was in character. Oh. <laughs> oh. Also, I hadn't finished my sentence yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hard to tell, okay? Monsters aren't shiny. <laughs> well, these ones you know what? Shot. I think the heat is making Clover talk faster. Clover's dying. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Yeah, no, that's all he has to say. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> he doesn't believe monsters are shiny. All right. <laughs> monsters, monsters should be able to hide in the darkness, and they can't do that if they glisten, dummy. <laughs> he can't articulate that because it would take two years. But <laughs> <laughs> that is his belief. Yeah, well, last time you said that owls didn't exist, so I don't know if I believe you. Owls exist, but monsters don't. Mm. It monsters exist, I tell you. Was an owl. Not a monster. Um, we need to get Clover to a hospital. For the audience at home, a little, uh, a little visual treat. As I speak, as Clover's dialogue, I slowly fall over, <laughs> and when I hit the ground, that is my cue that I'm done talking. <laughs> So that's your timer, just like how long yeah, it takes you to... I have to take a breath in between each word, and when I fall over, I've been talking too long. <laughs> Sorry, in character for Clover. Thank yes. you. Clover can't walk and talk at the same time. That is also happening in character. He falls <laughs> over after every sentence. He looks like he's slowly melting. Oh no, <laughs> he's doing it like the it animal is. puddle. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the puddle. Um, and Dewdrop goes, Monsters are real, I tell you. They're real. I'm trying to think of, like, how busy this highway would be, because it, it's a highway, not just a side street. But also we're, like, in a farmland, and usually cars don't drive down those too much. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's, um, ridiculously busy. It's probably, um, a decent, like... Uh, every few minutes there's like a new car but like few minutes not every few seconds oh I was thinking like yeah. one an hour maybe <laughs> at least during oh. like the middle of the day uh I mean you wouldn't really be able to tell there isn't a car right now does the stream like go next to the highway or like is there a bridge or something that like, goes under or? yeah I, I was gonna set the scene once Clover was yeah. done okay. <laughs> I, I apologize I don't mean to pull focus no, I just, I was like, I wanted to make sure, you know, the talking was, like, passing time. Um, yeah. Yeah, you guys reach, um, it's not the start of the stream, but it's where the stream crosses underneath the highway through a large, uh, solid tunnel, which, um, we would know as humans is that kind of, like, uh, ribbed metal. Oh. Um, those giant, like, tubes that you could probably even crawl through as a human being. Yeah, those are pretty um, big. Yeah. Yeah, so it kind of, like, it leads up to that. There's a little bit of a slope going down on each side. Um, and up that slope is up to the road, which is uh, a wide, black asphalt um, expanse that you have to get across. Or there is the tunnel, which normally would have a decent amount of water flowing through it. Um, right now, there is just a little bit of trickle. The tunnel is very dark, with the sun being about midday. It's not really shining in. Mm. Um, and there's a, kind of like a, a cold breeze that goes through through the tunnel. Um, and another thing that you notice is there is a lot of trash around, because this is a road. 
and stuff gets oh, no. collected at these kind of like ditches on the side. Oh no. Okay, so there is a breeze going through it, so it's not in yeah. the tunnel that it's blocked. No, so I think with the breeze, because it's been so hot that you and Clover are speaking faster than usual. <laughs> I think Dewdrop would just go rushing in. Dewdrop rushes in. <laughs> You're gonna run into the tunnel? I think yes. Bramble actually goes over it, because Bramble wants to make sure that, like, all of the routes are covered. Okay. Um... Keep in mind, this is going to be a wide enough road for rabbits that it's not going to be a quick, like, pop over. Yeah. Clover stays where they are. <laughs> All right. So that whichever one starts screaming, he can head that direction without having to take as long as he would if he followed the other. He's not going to he's not going to flip that coin. Yeah, you guys just immediately split up. Yeah, um, he 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 will wait and follow the forked path that causes the rabbit the most distress. <laughs> All right, who wants to go first? I think Bramble is the fastest too, so that's why yeah. I wanted Bramble to go over so that he could like go over and then loop in from the back yeah, end. Yeah, I would say Bramble first then, because like again, Bramble is the fastest and like going over. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, Bramble, you, uh, climb up the, the kind of, like, I mean, it's probably a large enough slope for rabbits, it not be so big for a human. <laughs> yeah, there's a few steps for a human. Yes, so you hop up, um, what do you do? Uh, run across, as fast as you can, because Bramble does believe in the shiny monsters. Alright, um... I feel like I want you to bolt, then? Probably, yeah. Alright. Oh my gosh, you just get hit by a car. <laughs> oh, no! I know! What is bolt need? Bolt needs swift? Good. Excellent. Fuck. <laughs> you get. Oh wait, okay, it's just enough. It's a seven. <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> I hold you, on. May, you may choose oh, one. Oh wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, you don't end up exactly where you intended. It takes you, it takes more out of you than you thought. Take minus one forward. It's much closer than you care for. Take plus one panic. Um, hmm. I want to say either take minus one forward because it's so far and he's a baby and it's hot outside and it's asphalt. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that's kind of. Or hurt. a car comes and he takes plus one <laughs> panic. <laughs> Yeah, kills you instantly. <laughs> Bye. I mean, um, I think a you get to one... choose, and yeah. I, if you'd like to, you can also narrate it, or um, you can let me narrate it. I don't think I want a card to come just yet, so I'm gonna take minus one forward because of how hot it is, and he's running on like black asphalt, mm -hmm. and that just sucks on a hot day. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, so maybe it burns your paws a little bit. Oh, stings. No. Oh, no. A little bit of blisters. Oh no! How long um, does minus one forward last? Or is it just on my uh, next roll? It's, yeah, it's just the next one. Because okay. ongoing is continuous. Oh yeah, forward ongoing, is the next. that's right. Um, so forward will just be the next one. Yeah, so after a while, he takes, he finally reaches the other end and starts going inside from the back end. And I think that's where we can go to do drop. Oh, uh, no. Okay. I, I actually, I wanted to give you a little bit of idea of what the other end looks like. Um, oh, yeah? There is uh, more trash piled up on this side. Um, not enough to fully block the, uh, the like, tunnel. But enough that um, whatever water was trying to get through is not getting through. So how, how blocked up would you say the water is? Like, how high is the water on this side? I'd say it's formed a, a decent puddle. Again, with it being summer, it's not going to be as deep of a stream as, like, say, winter or the spring rainy season. Yeah, but it, it still looks like this is where all the water should be coming. Yeah, it's like if you had if you cleared out this area, you'd definitely get a much more sustainable source of okay. water. Maybe not, you know, 
absolutely what you would have hoped for, but definitely better than the tiny trickle that's coming through right now. Okay. So that's what you see on that side. Cool. Um, cutting back to Dewdrop. Idiot boy, yes. Mm-hmm. We're all idiot uh, boys doing? except for Clover. Mm. We're all idiot nope. boys. <laughs> Okay, let's be real here. We all know that the true idiot TM is Dewdrop. Dewdrop is pretty dumb. Oh no. None of us have Shrewd, and that's basically the intelligence slash wisdom stat. Yeah, but I do have that the thumper move, so if I try to say something, I can use strong, so. That's good. I'm going to say, um, I know I'm gonna fail this, but I'm gonna do pay attention. <laughs> no, that's a Definitely a good one to do. <laughs> considering Bram will just dashed. <laughs> <laughs> right across black asphalt. I have a negative one to this, so let's see how this goes. Don't worry, Clover can't even pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You remember you got permanently scarred? Ah, uh, beautiful! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What'd you get? That is a five. Mm. <laughs> I knew it was kind of mm. fail. But... In this one, on a six or minus, you hold one. You just open yourself up to danger. Yes, which... Yeah. Yeah, da danger, pay attention. But yep. That's, that sounds right! <laughs> so, you may name a sense and ask me a question. Um... So you had a bad day. <laughs> Take a one down. Um... One of the things I need to remind people is that Doodrop has is missing an ear. So it's not going to be hearing. Oh, yeah, and it's kind of echoey in there with wind blowing. I mean, like, that could be the reason why it failed is that I would say... No, you technically, you know, you're still going to succeed. You're still going to do something. I know, yeah. So I would say sense of smell is that he smells something like... Uh, which, which question are you asking? Um... What uh? What will happen if I stay very still? Probably nothing good, my guy. With scent. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Hmm. That's an interesting uh Thanks. question to consider with scent. Um. There are a lot of smells. Considering yeah. There's a lot of garbage. <laughs> yeah, I'd say um. If you stand still, you can actually focus. Um. The breeze is coming from the other end towards you, so you can actually send, um, you can send the, a bunch of, um, strange, um, not natural smells, i.e. the trash, um, some, like, rotting organic matter, like plants, food, stuff like that. Um, you also smell, um, a, a smell of another animal oh, no. in there and as you're as you're staying very still you can smell the animal getting closer to you because the scent gets stronger more than just the wind carrying it towards you hmm. yeah i don't like that does dewdrop scream <laughs> what does dewdrop what do you do, do? <laughs> um would would any of this be alerted to Clover? Not unless you're making your own, um, your own role for that. Not yet, so... Clover is just waiting, so I guess not, no. And you can't, you can't pay attention, so you wouldn't be able to tell. You wouldn't be able to make the role, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that because I lost an eye? Or was yeah, it... I think you lost an yeah. eye to the yeah. owl. I'm metal as hell. <laughs> so, I'm going to say... Um, Dewdrop, smelling this, and because he's a pure dumbass, there's not a single brain cell. Not even, like, one that bounces. No, none. He just ram his head forward? <laughs> no, he's going to shout, Creature there, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that'll show him. <laughs> like a knight? <laughs> That'll teach him. <laughs> Did y'all forget he had literally attacked a fox? Yeah. Excellent plan. I gotta think of a, a good voice for this um, 
character. I can't think of a single thing you did wrong there. Let me double check. <laughs> no, not a single incorrect thing. Riley, I know Dewdrop is fucking up a big time. However, in, in note of this character, that is exactly... <laughs> yeah, that, that's what Dewdrop would do. Dewdrop's a rabbit who thinks he's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah, he's a rabbit that thinks he's a dog. Yeah, uh, you hear a voice in the darkness, um, go, What am I doing here? What are you doing here? I was here first. And you see, um, two red glints of cat eyes. Oh no! With the reflections on the back of the cat eyes. How could this happen? <laughs> You did make your mistakes. <laughs> you made many mistakes. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, actually, to let, just do the quick math and figure out how this happened to you. <laughs> oh, I risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. A doodop goes, ah, that is what it is. I am just looking for water. That is it. Yeah, well, you're not the only one looking for things here. What are you looking for? Food. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to say... I'm sorry, did I say two, uh, cat yeah. eyeglins? I meant one. <laughs> There's only one. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that detail about this animal. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that, considering um the name of this character is One Eye. <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! I was just so excited about the fact that I can do the whole like <laughs> cats have that reflection in the dark. Um, yeah. But I forgot that this cat only has one eye. <laughs> and he goes, "Well, I have bested a fox, so I would recommend." Not getting in my way. I love how we're all like, I bested the fox. When none of <laughs> okay. us did, it was nutmeg. Okay, okay, no. Dewdrop helped a lot with that. You cannot and say he did. Best is such a strong word for what happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. But best is an incredibly powerful word, and it is not right. <laughs> no, it's not, but they all think it is. They're dumb rabbits, right? They're rabbits. They think this is the coolest shit. Yeah. I don't particularly care what or who you bested. I was here first, so get out of my tunnel. I'm just passing through. That's well, it. Well, pass through someplace else. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dog. <laughs> a cat hisses, and yeah, uh, I'd like you to <laughs> resist panic. Okay. <laughs> I think you hear you a bramble on the other side of the trash, just, hey, hey, I found the water. <laughs> you in there, dude, drop? Um, can we have a quick cutaway to Clover just sitting in the grass? <laughs> just like, <laughs> just panting. Do, do, oh, do, no. do, 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 do. Do, 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 yeah, do, he's like do, on his do, back in do, the trickle do, of water. Do, 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 the, no, the funny do, thing do, is, um, the voices are probably echoing down the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, for sure. Oh yeah, they're yelling. He probably hears it. Oh, okay, so I can hear now? Uh, I mean, you could probably hear once, uh, you probably heard... Uh, Dewdrop shout, and you probably heard yes. um, okay, maybe some of One Eye's like uh, warnings and hiss. Obviously, perfect. That is exactly what I was waiting for. I was waiting for someone to start screaming yes. so I could go help them. And but now Dewdrop does still screaming. have to roll. Um, and then we gotta wait yep. an hour for Clover to get here. <laughs> uh, that's an eleven. Nice, nice, nice. You're unshaken. Yeah, I know. It Dewdrop has literally. Fought a fox. Like, this isn't like me saying, like, oh, him bolstering up. No, he fought a fox. He, he fought a fox. He kicked a fox in the face. And the ass. That too, yeah. Yeah. So, he's not gonna be intimidated by a one eyed cat. <laughs> Clover? 
<laughs> Clover is C- Clover is like moving along at the speed of Clover towards uh moving right along to help. Yeah. He 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 is hopping as fast as he can to go help. The earth shakes with his with the thud of him. <laughs> My brain is hearing the Sonic X theme got to go fast bit. But it's like slowed down to hundred percent. It's a decor version. Gotta go fast. Rolling at speed of sound. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, do you drop? What do you do? Um. If the cat's not getting out of my way. Yeah, no. I, I, I'm gonna fight the cat. <laughs> oh you don't God. have a fight move. <laughs> yeah, I do. To the claw. <laughs> That's right. You have a special move. <laughs> I forgot you took that special. <laughs> yep. <laughs> While Dewdrop is fighting the cat, can Bramble roll the dig? Yeah, well, we'll get to that in a moment. I, I was gonna have Bramble do something next because okay. you probably also heard. I would also like to, like, aid, depending on how this goes. Are you close enough? That's why I'm here, to help. It's so strong, and I have a pretty good strong, so let's see. Strong. Can I help? Even with a plus two, I did not do that. Helping would be great. <laughs> yeah, I would love to help if I could. Yeah, you're in the tunnel, yeah. so you could probably help. Clever, I think you could help. Okay, so, good news, that's a six. Wait. That's good. I was at a six already. Wait, you're rolling two dice, right? Yes, I rolled two dice. And you rolled a six, so Uh, no, you didn't help. No, No, I did not help. (laughs) You're too far away, and you're too slow. I was wondering what your good news was there. Clover trips and falls and, like, (laughs) rolls in like a bowling ball and crushes (laughs) Dude. Uh, no. Like he just hits him like a bowling pin. Oh, what what stat are you adding to this? Um, I feel like you should add the stat that is appropriate. So I thought it would be swift. Yeah, no. I was gonna say swift. No. Um, yeah, okay. which is why I got a six okay. because otherwise I would have gotten a seven. Yeah. Oof. But I think swift is because you're trying to catch up. Yeah. I got a six because I was because he's a strong boy. If not, I would have gotten a four. So, still he's either not, way. Clover isn't faced. No, he's not. We have a- yeah, so, um, I guess you take a scar? Of course I do. I would like to say two for two of Dewdrop starting a fight and Ron being like, what do you mean fight? You can't fight. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did Dewdrop roll again? Um, he rolled a... Four normally a plus strong, which is plus two, two, which is six. Oh my god. Wow. Three for three. Uh Bramble rolled a six on digging. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, three sixes <laughs> in a row from different dice? What this is not our this is not our day. <laughs> it's too hot. It's too hot out. <laughs> it's too hot for us. I I worry we have been cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dewdrop is a dumbass. This is two for two starting a fight, which the rabbins aren't supposed to do. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm I'm down there in the in the area with you, though, with that cat. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, Dewdrop just got a scar, and I don't remember how that uh, plays out. Uh, let me check. Um... Now is the time for us to all perish. <laughs> all right. You pick one basic or character move, but not a special move that you may no longer make. Okay. Hey, y'all. What if our first TPK was in oh, Heckin? No. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh. Hi, yes, we're playing bunnies, and then we all just Heckin yeah, die. We're, we're playing fun bunny stuff. They should cross the lost move off the rabbit playbook and describe how the injury relates to lost move. Um... I'm gonna say, uh, help slash hinder, because I want to wow. say, 
I want to say that, you know the side that, um, where he has the missing ear? He misses, he, he loses his eye. Oh. All right. So, and the reason I say that instead of, like, pay attention is because he's kind of gotten used to having, like, half of his senses kind of dulled a bit. So, it, and, like, he mainly uses his snoofer. Yeah. So that's why I say that. That's why I say help and hinder because now he's going to be more depth perception is what is that? He won't know anymore. Yeah, that's fair. You have three basic moves left. I know. Yeah. This, this is why the rabbits aren't meant to last more than like one <laughs> second. Yeah, I told you, Duda makes it out of this. He's getting marked for death. All right. So I'm going to move on to Bramble. Hello. Uh, what were you doing? Uh, I think Bramble heard some of what was happening and is frantically trying to dig through the trash now. <laughs> yeah, um, I wouldn't say it's covering up the entire opening. Um, so you could either dig your way through it or try and climb over it. Um... um. Maybe he's trying to, like, dig through the hole at the top, like, make it big enough for him. Because he's not as small as he used to be. Fair. But, uh, Bramble rolled a six. So he's still too small to move giant trash. Yeah, yeah. it's stuck. Is there a, what happens on a negative six? to dig? No. Is there, I, I, there's gotta be something Clover can do to... No, I'm not even there. Well, I mean, it's your turn. I think you're. I think you'd be there. I want to help with the cat situation. I mean, um, I think you're there now. I mean, your your help out role was supposed to be you getting there anyways. Yeah, so. yeah. and failing. What, what happens um, when you fail the dig roll? It just doesn't happen. It's um context context based. So, like, <laughs> if you were digging, get away from something. You know, you'd get caught, but okay. right now you're digging to get to them, and you just can't get to them. Okay, yeah. There's a trash in the way. I Maybe it's because like... you're digging in trash and not earth. Like, yeah. trash kind of gets, like, clumped together with the water and the moisture, and Ugh. it's gross. <laughs> yeah. He gets all slimy and grimy and gross. Yeah. And moldy. He probably slipped a bit, like. Yeah. Oh, the mold! Ew! All right, Clover. Yes. Yeah. Um. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry for him. I would like to. I want to speak plainly and tell the cat not to eat us. <laughs> All right. That's what I want to do. Is that a thing I can do? Yes, don't you have the... You have the move, speak plainly. Yeah, I do. I just wasn't sure if it made sense. Um, it does? You're telling the cat not to eat us. Yeah, I, just, I wasn't sure if there was a world in which... You may speak plainly to the NPCs. <sighs> That's a five? Oh, oh no. <sighs> We're rolling Three plus so two bad. Plus zero. Guys, we're rolling so bad this episode. Yeah. Don't eat us, says the massive fat rabbit of limited mobility. <laughs> one eye's um single eye. One eye's one eye uh turns towards you, Clover. And it's like, oh, there's more of you now? Come on, just uh, I was yes. here first. Don't you guys get it? This is my <laughs> hunting ground. This is my scavenging area. Y'all need to get out. We're working on that. <laughs> You're bramble digging through. Like, guys, guys, I can't get through. Are you guys okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, Doc says with one eye, we're working on that. We just need to get through. Help. <laughs> and I said, go around. I'm um, still saying no. <laughs> I I would like to like push Dewdrop out of the area with my big bod. <laughs> I feel like there is a move 
Is there? That would be I, compete, I think. Oh my god, both of you choose the value on a die. I'm gonna say strong, because Dewdrop's not gonna move his ground. He, I don't think a- that's what it means when it says value on a die. I think... Oh, they, wait. Um, it means a number. Do you both choose a number one through six, um, okay. and then you both reveal it, and whoever has the higher one... Wait. Both of you choose... No, that doesn't make sense. Both of you okay. choose a value on a dice. Okay, so we both have to decide. Wait. So we both have to choose one dice to roll, and we both have to decide which number we're going on. It's like one of those who can get closer to, like, I'm thinking one of a number. One dice shows a higher face. Then the value you choose. Neither is higher. No one gets their way, and both take panic equal to the dice. Oh no. no! So we have oh. to choose a value on the on the dice. Okay, so here's that the thing. We're trying to beat. You can both choose like one, and then if both of these are obviously higher than one, then nothing happens. If one of you is higher, then you know they succeed. However, if you choose like a really high number, and none none of you get higher than that then you're both going to take panic. So that's the give or take. It's like, how difficult do you want to make it on each other? I'm going to say three. Three? Yeah, I was actually thinking three. Go with an even three, just in case. You roll one die. One dice, yes. So, okay. Uh, This is an interesting compete roll. So it's really about, like, how Uh, desperately do you want this? What'd you roll? uh, What'd you roll, Dewdrop? I already rolled. Tell me what you did. Tell me what you got. I got a three! I got a one. <laughs> so neither of you got. Oh, you um, both take panic. You both take three panic oh, no. as you compete both against take each three other. Panic. You take three. That's why you panic? don't choose a high number for this. Yeah. That's so much panic is the thing. You. Uh, that's sad if you can't make it. Uh, that's sad that it doesn't count if you make it. That's rough. Wait, it says if one rabbit's die shows a higher face, they get their way. Then the yeah. value. Yeah, so I got a... Th- uh, is it like... It has to be higher. You got equal yeah, to it the value. it has to be value. higher. That's... Yeah. Tying, tying doesn't I got count. three. So I put three on there. Choose a value from one of the dice. Both of you take that much pan. That is so interesting. That is kind of... What yeah. happened if it's, you... It's it, very complex, but I could see how this works. Because it, and, it's dissuading PC in like combat but at the same time it's very good i i am rolling so bad tonight are they taking a six and they lose do they just instantly die i don't think anyone can choose a six it says you can pick yeah yeah pick a value on a dice but i mean that's like why would anyone want to choose a six (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm willing to die. Like yeah, that. Yeah, that is basically like killing your character. Though is the yeah, problem. Yeah, because you can't get higher yeah. than a six. Yeah. What I don't understand yeah. is both of you choose a value on a die and then reveal it. Oh, we chose. I think. Hmm. I think that what we did. It's the like. I think what we did was good. Like we both yeah, our interpretation yeah. works. I think, but I just I don't understand what the instructions are saying. I just didn't want us to get eaten by the cat, man. That's all I wanted. I was like, hey, let's not be eaten by the ding-dang cat. And you were like, no. Let's both be in here. (laughs) In the cat zone. Doodrop just wants to get through, man. He's not going to let a cat scare him. They don't say anything more. It's literally just that. Oh. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I think we... I think, I think we could stick with what we did. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good one where it's we both decide on a value. Oh, I... Nope. I Yeah, I think I know what it is. What? So it's a gamble. You both just call out a number one through six. Oh. And if neither is higher than... Meaning if you tie... No one gets their way. So if you both chose six, no one gets their way, and you both get six panic. Oh my god. So that's how it goes. Um, yeah. But so if one both- person chose six and the other person chose one, the person who got six gets to choose that both of you may take just one. Okay. So 
<sighs> I wish. The reason it says dice is because if we are in person, you hide the dice in your hand and you show it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so like. Do we want to do it that way or do we want to just go with our three no, panic and just I, call I like it safe? How, I like how we ended with that. <laughs> okay. I like ours version just because I think it's good to like agree on something and we both. Just kind of let the die fall, because who says we didn't change yeah. our role? I think though. it also works better in a podcast setting. Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> one's very dicey when you can't guarantee. <laughs> but man, the the realization that this is entirely a gamble is just... Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you want yeah. to die for this, bud? Says um, me the cat's has- just watching you two fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to Bramble. I'm, like, trying to pull, but I'm so big and slow that uh, Dewdrop keeps r- wrestling out and, like, away from me. Which is funny, <laughs> because Dewdrop isn't as fast. It's just slightly... He's just... Because of his leg, his bum leg, yeah. he can't, like, bolt, but he's slightly fast. I think it's more like Dewdrop's trying to move forward, Clover's trying to move back, so you're just canceling each other out. <laughs> Can, can um, Bramble roll something? Yes, what do you want to do? Um, Bramble wants to roll Dig again, but this time, instead of just trying to squeeze through the bit at the top, which is probably, like, really unstable, and he can't stay up there, he keeps falling, instead, he's going to just try and dig enough of it out that water starts to flow through. Because he hears shit happening in there. Yeah. I'm gonna say, you could probably do either... Either struggle or dig. Like struggle. I could see struggle if you're trying to push your way through. I could also. No, he's not trying to push his way through. He's trying to push trash out of the way so that just like water will rush through and stop whatever fight is happening. Yeah, because Bramble can't see. Yeah. Ooh. (gasps) What'd you get? He rolled a twelve. Nice. Finally. Yes, you may. Quickly shift some dirt. You st- shift the trash out of the way, and it's fast enough that the sh- stream, the like, I wouldn't say puddle. It's probably more of a small, shallow pond, maybe. Um, yeah, that just starts to flow in, and um, you know, it's not like a wave coming down the tunnel, but where maybe once you're able to, like, put your paws on either side of the stream, now both your paws would be wet kind of thing. Okay. So. I was thinking it it might be enough because he's still pretty small to just, like, he slips and falls in. (laughs) Oh, if you want to slip through and, like, get carried down. I wouldn't say it's, you know, fast enough to really carry you down, but you... He falls down into the tunnel, though. Yeah. Um, Oh, my gosh. But yeah, I'd say the the water is flowing a little bit more. Um, and uh, one eye definitely doesn't like it at all. Because <laughs> he's a cat. Cat. Yeah. I mean, probably, uh... By the way, in the notes, their voice is labeled as scratchy, and I have been having to drink so much water <laughs> <laughs> doing one eye's voice. Alrighty, so then with that... Okay, so with that, I'm going to say that in this moment, Dewdrop turns the cover and goes, Come on, we need to move. And I'm going to use Thumper. When you cuff, kick, or knock another rabbit around, you may roll strong instead of shrewd when you seek to play me. Are you doing you don't even, cover? You don't have to. I, no. I don't want to be down here. <laughs> I was trying to get us to leave. You don't have to kick me to make me go. I'm already trying to exit. No, you stop trying to go forward. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm getting out of here. I'm leaving. You don't gotta kick me to make me leave. No, he's, he's already leaving. Dewdrop is <laughs> it's so rude. No, Dewdrop trying to get Clover to go forward, not go backwards. You mean I'm. I- <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bramble single-handedly, like, <laughs> solved your water problem. <laughs> we can go if you, like, we could go that way. It just no, seems... No, said he's going forward. He's going forward, and he's going to make you come with him. I don't want to. <laughs> well, that's why I'm using Why are we going where the water is coming from towards the cat? 
because it's not as much as we would normally even get in summer. Reese, just mm -hmm. roll. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> that that is a 14! That is a 14! <laughs> <sighs> I'm not even gonna roll against. I'm just, I'm just confused and hurt by this. <laughs> so Doodrop turns yep. to one eye and goes, while bleeding, goes, we'll be leaving you now, and just shrugs Clover forward. I don't even know if you can speak plainly against a PC character, but like, <laughs> it, it just says another rabbit. It does not say an NPC or anything. It just says another yeah, rabbit. Yeah, but speak plainly is only... Yeah. You're still rolling speak plainly. You're just using it with... Yeah, I don't know, but it said another rabbit, so I don't know what that means. Unspeak because plainly? we're rabbits. No, in Thumper it says when you cuff kick or oh, knock thumper. another rabbit around. When you knock another rabbit... You may roll it plus specify. strong instead of plus rude instead when you speak shrewd, plainly. You speak so you're rolling plainly. speak plainly. Thumper is the descriptor. Yeah, but I'm saying... Yeah, no, but I'm just saying saying plainly rabbit, is for because, NPCs. Yes. Yeah, but because of it's a rabbit, though, so there's another rabbit. If I We're drowning right now is the thing, <laughs> so I would love to get back to how we're drowning. The, the specification is you can only do it to another NPC rabbit. But it doesn't say that in the rabbit. Anyways, no, you are not drowning, Clover, unless you don't pick You're your not. face up off the ground. <laughs> um, <laughs> two... One Eye's had enough of the water, and enough of you guys shouting. One Eye's gone. One Eye's out of there. Uh, uh, last time I checked, water was spraying in here, and then Dewdrop kicked us towards the water. It's a soft flow. Guys. What? Yes. One Eye is out. <laughs> Good. Okay, so they go forward. That's all that Dewdrop wanted. What is the point of going forward is just my thing. Because to that's not the fill full... open the hole. <laughs> but we we have already established like that it's not the the same as we normally get in the summer. Even Bramble's eating an open candy bar. Oh, no! Good for you, Bramble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so confused. <laughs> Y'all are arguing. Clover is like dying over here, pretending to drown in the two inches deep of water. <laughs> <laughs> and Dewdrop tried to just move everyone forward so they could find the real thing blocking the freaking move water. Move everyone forward. Bramble was is already ahead of you guys. Okay, so that's what you're trying to. Okay, if the, if that yes! is what we're doing, yes, I will move forward. That's what I was trying to say! That we're trying to go through because we're trying to go forward because one, Bramble. Two, because you said we try to go find the, like, what's actually causing it. It is a smaller trickle than we normally get during summer. I think Bramble comes over, like, with chocolate on his face. <laughs> He's like, oh, hey, no! Uh, um, what is all this? It tastes weird. Bramble gets minus one panic for sweet, but plus one panic for caffeine, so it cancels <laughs> each other out. <laughs> I feel like Dewdrop goes, I don't know, but we need to continue. All of this is blocking the stream. It's no good. <laughs> Should we all dig to get is, out? Are these from the shiny monsters? I don't know. Mm. We should tell them to stop. <clears throat> Do you speak? Monster? I mean, I don't know. What do they speak? No one knows. But let's continue. Bramble would like to <sighs> go on to the highway again and wait for a car. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, on no! the side of the road. On the side of the road. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you have to get out, out of the tunnel. <laughs> and considering Bramble just barely made it in. I'm going to Dig. All right. I dig him. <laughs> Roll for dig. I dig him. Or you could try. I don't know if you have any ideas. You could innovate or. Nah. Still wouldn't have helped. He's bleeding from an eye. 
He has no uh, death so, perception. Uh, exactly. <laughs> He's like trying to dig, but he can't reach. He's like, what's happening? <laughs> yep. Oh, Lord. Hey, Clover, you're notoriously good at digging. Mm. Yeah, actually, Clover did really good at digging in the last one. Clover is a phenomenal digger. Um, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna tear down, Mr. Clovervich, tear down this wall. <laughs> Real strong. That's good. I'm very strong. Nine plus two is eleven. Hell oh, wait, yeah. no, sorry. Nine plus one is ten. That's still good. Nice. Yeah, you managed to dig out a hole enough big enough for all of you. Are we getting more water flow? Yeah. I wanna I wanna dismantle this this so well, uh, water can happen. Yeah, um I think by digging out a hole in big enough for you, um, it would allow the water to kind of do its natural like pushing stuff out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> And would gradually mm-hmm. start to break apart the rest of it for you. Okay. Yay. Would talking to a car be pay attention or speak plainly? <laughs> talking to a car would be dumb. It would not be speak plainly. Um, <laughs> it would probably be... Because cars can't talk. It would be dumb is what it would be. <laughs> it would be a pay attention as you look for a car and then resist panic as one shows up. <laughs> Okay. It'd be just real foolish for you to do that. Okay. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Pay attention sure. as you look for a giant monster. Um, plus shrewd. <laughs> That's a six. <clears throat> All right. We are dumbasses. We're so bad today. You get one hold and you expose yourself to danger. Oh, no. <laughs> um... What do they wish I do? How do I get them to stop throwing this stuff into our water? <laughs> that mm-hmm. okay. That's a big question for a rabbit and two dice to solve. Isn't it? <laughs> isn't that a little bit? Isn't that a little bit big? What sense are you using to ask this question? I mean, oh wait, no, I'm doing pay attention to find a car and talk to it, so then that, that yes. wouldn't be that question. That would be, how do I get the car to stop? How do I get a car to stop? Alright, what sense are you using? Um, probably sight, because it's on a road and I'm looking down it. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know, has Bramble seen a car? I assume not, right? Probably not, but from the stories that he's been told, he knows it's shiny. All right. And, and fast. I'd say um, you watch uh, as a glint appears in the distance and um, it starts to kind of reflect the sunlight as it gets closer, meaning it is shiny. Um, and it's obviously, it's not rabbit shaped at all. This This monster is big and round, almost like... Like a, a bulldog, or like a round pug or something, but it's huge. Hmm. And it's got a smiley face on the front. Of- this thing is just like, from what you can tell, it looks like there might be two, there might be eyes on the front. So if you can just get its attention, um, oh, no. then maybe it'll stop for you. Um, and I'd like oh, you to no. resist, resist panic. Yeah, resisting panic this because he's jumping into the road. Die. This oh no! He's very little, this, so if he's okay with die. resist panic, this then he's just gonna die. the car's just gonna go right over him and he's gonna be fine. This, but this is how you die. This is how <laughs> you die. Chanting over the car. <laughs> That's two sixes. This nice. On the ten die. plus, Damn. you're unshaken. Okay. I am genuinely surprised. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> you jump in front of this monster, and um. You stop right in front of it and try to get its attention as it comes barreling towards you at full speed. And it kind of, it swerves and it completely like just swerves around you. There's a horrible screeching noise from it as it, you don't know, maybe it's hissing at you or it's screeching at you like a bird. Um, And a really foul smell 
um, hits your nose, and it continues onward, straightening back out and down the <laughs> the highway, um, leaving black marks behind it. I feel like Dewdrop like starts approaching and goes, "That was the bravest thing I have ever seen." Those monsters are mean. He didn't even stop. Why are you all so dumb? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I would like the audience to know that this is essentially Riley's conversation with me and Jamie a lot. It's just all the time. <laughs> oh my Every God. day yeah. of my life, we're living with Riley. Yeah, well, you guys did it. You solved the water problem. You solved my water riddle. <laughs> I solved my water puzzle. <laughs> um, actually, no, that is true. You did solve my water puzzle. That is actually one of the ones I had marked out. Oh my god, <laughs> we actually did something? The threat of pollution, one of its moves, build up debris at the stream tunnel under the highway. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, I think, did it. After, I think after that, Brevels just like, I think, I think we should go back. We solved the problem of pollution in the world. The whole world. <laughs> <laughs> and there will never be pollution ever again. We did it. Don't worry, there's two more moves for the threat of pollution to do. Oh no. No. You head back and, yeah, I'd say, I'd say Thicket's actually waiting for you, um, they're actually at the stream, like, kind of helping dig out a little area for the water to flow into, maybe Ooh. make a little bit more of a puddle closer to the warren. Um, they've got a couple other rabbits with them, and they're, yeah, they're taking advantage of the additional water that's getting ground wet and digging out maybe a little bit of a, not like a full pond, but, you know. Yeah. Just, just another little, uh, a pool. They're digging yeah. out a pool closer to the warren so you don't have to like just drink from the stream or go all the way down to the pond. Yeah, and if if the water goes down then there's going to be like a little pond that'll stay there. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to have I would like to remind you that Bramble is missing an eye. Yeah. I meant no, to drop on Bramble. I think I think when Bramble gets back, he's like he starts doing like the happy rabbit jump of just like back and forth hopping and you're like where the fudge are you yes. going but he's just so happy <laughs> yeah run round having fun yeah yep dewdrop is missing literally an ear and an eye <laughs> oh you've got and you're got a cool scar on your butt yep yep yeah, Thicket sees you all return and is like, I I cannot stress enough how grateful I am to you three for going out and doing whatever it is you did. <laughs> Listeners, it's end credits time. I know you love hearing this part, but I like to remind you guys that you can find us on Tumblr, Instagram, and even TikTok. And if you like to buy the music, you can buy it all at markexperience.bandcamp.com. We also have a constantly growing collection of merch at redbubble.com slash people slash mark dash experience, where you can buy posters and shirts and stickers and all that. If you want to support your favorite editor and musician, you can head over to my coffee account at coffee.com slash Jamie Remy. That's spelled J-A-M-I-E-R-E-M-Y. Mark Experience can be located basically anywhere podcasts exist now, so you can listen wherever's easiest. See you next episode!